Hey fans, so here we are again in the Quick Drive selector, and we are going to be looking at the newly released HXD3D locomotive from Just Trains. I will be running through the uh, startup procedure and operating uh, mechanics of the train, and also uh, explaining to you the minor physics adjustments I've made to it. It's nothing major. Um, and we'll be doing a test run from Metro Park to Trenton. I do, I am aware that this uh, DLC comes with um, its own route, but I'm not going to be running that route until later this uh, weekend, maybe next week. Um, so stay tuned for that, and let's go. So, as you know, uh, a lot of the trains that Just Trains are developed um, in, a, in, in a sense where you have a lot of advanced features incorporated. So there is an advanced startup process that I will be going through and also um, advanced operating procedures. So let's uh, let this load up. Okay, so here we are in the cab. Uh, the train does start off in... Uh, the off setting. So first thing you have to do before you do anything is put the hat on. If you don't put the hat on and you start the startup procedure, you will not be able to get the locomotive to accelerate past 10 kilometers an hour. So make sure you do this before you start anything. So click the hat. Hat uh, comes on. Alright, next thing you want to do is you want to raise the pantograph. Or, no, no, no. Next thing you want to do, insert the master key. Master key. So the master key control is control F. So control F. Insert the key. Uh, computer screen startup. Wait for the screens to uh, cycle through. Alright, screens have cycled through. What you want to do now is you want to hit the P button to raise the pantograph. You need to hit it twice. So first time second time so once that uh, once that hits then you will see this icon change and your um, voltmeter will uh, change as well it will display voltage um, next thing you want to do is close the MCV um, main circuit breaker that key is O so hit O the locomotive cycle on, then you want to hit I to turn your compressor on, do a brake test, R to release the handbrake. Alright, there we go. Do that brake test. You can see the uh, gauges responding. And from here on out, it's just setting up the headlights. So let's go through the cap controls here. This is your master key, obviously. This is MCB switch, pantograph switch, air compressor switch master headlight switch. So, the headlight control key is Y, so you hit Y once to bring up the uh, full headlight, and hit Y again to dim it, then you need to set the, that's the auxiliary headlight switch. This is, come on, this is the front marker light switch. You want to push it forward to engage the red lights, which will be in trail position. And you pull it back to engage the white marker lights. These are the, 
These are the rear marker light switches. We're not going to touch those. That's the engine room light, instrument light switch, cab light switch. Um, your split phase button for dead zones. You hold this through dead zones. Uh, train uh, speed set. It's your cruise control. Um, it's your reverser, power handle. Uh, electric horn, high horn, uh, low horn, Xander, got a wiper controls, uh, what else you got here? It's the cleaning, so it must be wiper fluid. Um, what do you got here? High horn, acknowledge button. You have your hand release, uh, handbrake release, handbrake apply, stop location, doesn't doesn't really need to be used. Here are your brake controls. A um, couple other things. Uh, I believe, okay, so this is the cab signaling. This is to turn off the speed control. So if you over if you over speed in this locomotive with speed control on, it will apply penalty brake. Um, it's emergency brake. So if I hold this or I press this, then it will turn off the speed control you will there's no way to turn off the alerter on this thing you can't turn the alerter off uh, so you just have to acknowledge it every 30 seconds uh, you can drag these obviously so we're gonna leave them all the way up um, let's see what else is there I don't think there's too much else to worry about here, uh, so in that case, I think that concludes the startup tutorial. Uh, now for the operation tutorial. Like I said, there's no way to turn off the uh, alerter, so you just have to acknowledge it. Uh, hit Q, obviously, to acknowledge it. Um, it rings every 30 seconds. In order to move the throttle uh, into power position, you have to hold the E key. Hold E, uh, as you can see there, um, E allows you to unlock the throttle and push it forward. Uh, there are several horns on this thing, as you saw as I was going through the earlier uh, buttons. The high horn, you can actuate with the space bar or the page down button. Page down is the short high horn. Uh, long high horn is space bar. There's an electric horn, uh, and there's also a low horn, which I believe can be actuated by hitting the B key. Alright, so that's all our horns, um, let's see what else, uh, so I think that's it pretty much. So basically what I've done uh, from the physics mod standpoint is I have uh, the original files, there wasn't much uh, finesse in the dynamic brake uh, files, so I added a few values there to make the performance a little more accurate at high speeds. Um, other than that, I changed the ammeter values so that they uh, display, well the originally maximum amperage on both ends, traction and braking was 390. So I changed it so that maximum traction amps are 420 and maximum brake amps are 250, uh, which correspond to the kilonewton values for effort on both ends of the spectrum. So now that we've gone over that, why don't we take this for a spin? So control zero is to turn the air conditioning on, um, and you just toggle it, so, I mean, that is just an extra sound that you don't need. So as you can see uh, over here, 
this is your cab signal uh, speed display or well this is the cab signal this is your speed display so you have current speed is on the left uh, turquoise uh, you have your line speed and upcoming uh, signal restriction speeds or line reduction speeds uh, as your alert as your alerter um, up here and this is uh, this is your distance to the next signal I believe that's in meters yeah it's in meters well, that's pretty cool and uh, obviously this clock doesn't work for some reason So right now line speed is 144, um, it's flashing 72 uh, for the 45 mile an hour signal restriction coming up. I have the, this is turned off, I turned this off so it's not going to stop us. Oh and this here is your speedometer, you have the uh, maximum speed is indicated with this red needle I guess that's your sort of your I guess your maximum braking profile which is pretty cool actually um, a lot of script advanced scripting went into this to make this happen so to dynamic brake. signal up here where the limit changes to 100 we'll come to a stop and we will perform an acceleration test to 160 um, and there we go all right so that's what happens when you forget to acknowledge the alerter it will throw you into a penalty break in which you need to bring the train to a full stop first So procedure for nullifying a penalty brake is to put the brake handle in suppression, keep your throttle in idle or zero, uh, your reversers in neutral, and then once that once those requirements have been met, you hold Q or the acknowledge until that shuts down. Then you have to uh, close the MCB because it opened up with the penalty. So hit O. Or, I guess hit P first? I don't know. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Alright. Once you've... This is complicated. So, yeah. Read the manual first. Uh, once you suppress the alarm, actually, you need to release the brake. Then hit O. 
There we go. Then you can move the uh, reverser back and take power. Yeah, so as I was saying before, uh, there's a lot of, there are a lot of controls that you need to know and a lot of operating procedures that you need to know in order to run this locomotive without any hitches. So, as I always suggest, but really do implore this time, before you open up Train Simulator after you've purchased this to run this, do yourself a huge favor and actually sit down, open up the DLC manual, and read through the entire manual. Um, or at least the operating controls portions of the manual. You won't regret doing that. So, let's see. So, as we are at a stop at the signal, I'm going to take this time and show you the passenger compartment, actually, for uh, this train. It's pretty cool. Um, they're all, all cars, excuse you, all cars are sleepers, so every compartment is basically the same. Yeah, okay, so, alright, so this is your default. Um, passenger view, so here you have the sleeper, oh, it's a cute advertisement, uh, this is your hallway out here, it's your sleeper compartment, that's neat, um, so each sleeping compartment has an air conditioning unit, uh, I guess these are entertainment devices, it's pretty cool, um, and there's a little table here, so you can adjust where you are in the compartment and you know it's really nice uh, you have a 360 degree view uh, the camera's not really limited uh, pretty neat um, cycle through uh, this is the other bed uh, ooh and you can be on the top bunks that's cool uh, yep so a lot of development went into that it's pretty neat it's your Chinese power outlet that's pretty cool. Uh, if you go from the exterior point of view, uh, let's see what we got. So this is our exterior point of view is pretty straightforward, I guess. It's pretty cool. Um, the doors do open obviously. They're actually uh, plug doors, so they're that's pretty neat. Mm. 
waiting for 950 to roll around. Fifty one point three metric tons. Sixty. What about your disc brakes? It's nice. So there's three versions of this locomotive, uh, exterior models, three versions of the exterior model. This is the production model, so the red paint is a bit darker. They actually do include the, um, the uh, experimental paint scheme, which is a bit lighter shade, and they also have the special uh, Mao commemorative locomotive with uh, the Mao plaque on front. So that's pretty cool. So we're coming up on... 950, uh, 950, so why don't we start our speed test. So as you can see there, uh, the automatic scripting is tapering off power. Uh, 
its own, I guess. So, the top speed you will reach is just below 100 miles an hour. test will be full dynamic brake only from maximum attainable speed to zero speed so we will start that at the next signal been in 
this cab view. This this one's better. All right, all right. So this is your default, I guess. Uh, and this is your straight ahead cab view. Oh, that's neat. I should have been in this one. Uh, good to know. Let's see. Uh, I wonder if there's a way to get into the engine room because there is a light for that. This instrument cab. Engine room light switch. Maybe not. I don't know. Um. Well, yeah. Anyways, so that's pretty much it for. Yeah, that's pretty much it for uh this video. Um. I do want to get a better shot without the shadow, so I'm going to move this up a little bit. And once we do that, I will call this video a day and upload it, post the links, whatnot. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more action. I will definitely check out the new Chinese route that comes with this DLC. Uh, do a couple cab rides there. Thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, see ya!